better speeches, I bet. You know what? Every one of them is great. I mean, I know that sounds like a politically correct answer, but to hear a guy like John Madden, I don't know if you remember his entire speech when he talked about the fact that he was convinced that when the last fan had left the museum at night and the janitor had turned out the light, that he was convinced that the bus talked to each other. <laughs> and if you talk to him to this day, he still believes that. But, it, you know, every one of them is a life-changing story. Uh, we all think as fans that each one of these guys fell out of bed great. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and they are that great. But, you know, for each one of them, their journey to get there uh, was a fight. It, it, it was a, an adventure. And it was not only for them, but for the people who encouraged them. So, you know, uh, w- one of the things I get the privilege of at the at the Hall of Fame is I have access to all of those enshrinement speeches. And there's there are some spectacular speeches there that are... Uh, you know, in my view, right up there with Lincoln or JFK's inaugural address. You have an event coming up at Old Warson I want to get to in a minute, but you're, uh, they just had the enshrinement uh, ceremonies this past weekend, and Junior Seau's daughter spoke, and she didn't speak from the stage, and she spoke in an interview form. What was the reason for that? Well, we, we have a policy that really only Hall of Famers can speak from that podium, and she, you know, Junior wanted her to always to be his presenter. And presenters are now done from uh, video. And what we do in this case of a posthumous enshrinee is we make their, you know, uh, video presentation longer. So she plays a bigger role than other presenters. But it, it's a situation where we certainly wanted her to speak. So we kind of hit upon this compromise where she spoke, but maybe, you know, 20 feet away from the podium. And Sydney did a great job. She's an outstanding young lady. Uh, we have absolutely loved dealing with her every minute of the way. But I thought that was a moving moment. It uh, was a very moving moment. But but that speech and that saying was hers and hers alone. That wasn't written or, or no, approved by anybody not. in any you way, know, shape, we, or form. And people, what people don't understand is there's many other moments you know, to talk during that enshrinement week. Uh, there's the gold jacket dinner and all kinds of other things. So she, you know, what we did was never to keep her from speaking. It was always to give her a platform for speaking, and that was another indication. But it's an emotional moment, and while we all wanted Junior to be there, you know, it was an emotional moment for Mick Tinglehoff and his prisoner, you know, Fran Tarkington. Mm-hmm. It was an emotional moment for Tim Brown and Jerome Bettis, who we almost didn't get off the stage. I mean, it, it, every one of them, was fantastic, but Sydney was outstanding. Yeah, what's coming up at Old Warson on uh, September twentieth and September twenty first? Well, you know, I, I'll tell you, I've got a great job because I get to be with these uh, great Hall of Famers, the best in the game, uh, all the time. But uh, I wish every fan had the opportunity to experience what I do. And on September twentieth and twenty first at Old Warson Country Club, every fan in St. Louis can do that. Uh, we're going to have a dinner on Sunday night. We're going to have a golf tournament the next day. Dan Deardorff, who you mentioned earlier, and the great Aeneas Williams are our co-chairman. Uh, we're going to have like 20 gold jackets. Eric Dickerson, Jackie Slayer, Kellen Winslow, Jack Youngblood, um, you know, for golf the next day. Uh, it, it is going to be a great experience. I strongly encourage everybody to come uh, to bring their clients and their partners. They can find out more about it by going to stlsports.org, uh, salute to greatness. Uh, this is something that uh, we are thankful for the Sports Commission and Dave Peacock here uh, for helping us out with. It's also going to benefit uh, the local char- charity here, Cardinal Glennon Children's Hospital. So it's September 20th and 21st, uh, so the golf is on the Sunday and the dinner is Saturday night? Actually, it's actually, uh, uh, I believe it's, Sunday night is the dinner, and Monday is the golf. Oh, okay, right, right, right. Sunday night's the, the, uh, the dinner, then Monday's the golf. Um, I suspect that um, these foursomes are going to fill up pretty quickly. Well, you know, I, I think they are, and, uh, you know, there's still sponsorship opportunities and dinner opportunities. We only do this three times a year. We do it, at, it's called the Salute to Greatness. Yeah, we do it in Chicago and Miami, and now we're doing it in St. Louis. And um, I think... You know, you know, people love the enshrinement, but not everybody get a chance gets a chance to come to Canton. This is an opportunity for Canton and the enshrinement to come to St. Louis. 
Yeah, it's pretty exciting with all those Hall of Famers. It's sort of like a, a <laughs> I think the busts will, will be talking to each other that day, right? <laughs> yeah, you know, they've, they've got some stories to tell. Some of them are pretty funny, but most of them are incredibly inspirational. Yeah. Uh, and- last night we had a, a dinner, you know, a small dinner with a small group that's working on this uh, with uh, the great Jackie Smith and Aeneas Williams. And, and I got to tell you, it is uh, what made these men great the commitment, the courage, the integrity, the perseverance, the teamwork, um, the excellence, uh, it is the same thing uh, that can make you not just great on the football field, but a cellist in the symphony, or, or a businesswoman, or um, a mother, or a father, or a great community. And uh, it, it is a great opportunity, I think, to... Uh, if you, certainly, if you love football, this is a no-brainer. Well, and um, uh, you but if you love life, yeah, these guys are very special. You mentioned Aeneas Williams, who has dedicated his life to the St. Louis community. Jackie Smith, who has done the same, and uh, you really haven't lived till you hear Jackie Smith sing "Danny Boy." So I, su- <laughs> I suspect <laughs> Man, we can. I'll tell you, he, he did our enshrinement last year, and uh, he did the national anthem as our enshrinement. He had told me that he always wanted to sing the national anthem. And uh, I went back and said, hey, let's do it. And it was one of my best moments of the year to see him do that, to see all the other Hall of Famers. And this is a great example. I'm glad you brought it up because the NFL Network was covering it. They replayed it, and they said, Jackie Smith is a renaissance man. Yes, he is. And and these guys are more than just the greatest football players in the world. Guys like Aeneas Williams, who you're talking about, this guy is making a huge difference in Ferguson. You know, he's a pastor there at a church. And he's bringing people together from both sides. You're right. He's uh, part of the solution. All right. So it's Old Warrison, Sunday, September 20th, Monday, September 21st. The dinner is Sunday night. The golf tournament is uh, Monday. To find out more, stlsports.org slash salute to greatness. Dave Baker, president of the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Do we need to know anything else? No, just that we love St. Louis. You are not only a great sports city, but we want you to know that we know that you're a great football city, and I think the NFL is finding that out, too. stlsports.org slash saluteness to greatness. David Baker, thanks for joining us. Guys, thanks for the time. Thanks for all you do for the game. 631 here, Big 550 KTRS.